So we've done the analysis for our drawing program and we have laid out the GUI. Uh, so we've, we basically have things set up, but we don't really have any functionality in it yet. Before we can really add functionality, we need to do a little bit of design work. We need to figure out what the components are inside of this program. So I've put together a class diagram for what I think this should look like. We have our drawing main. This is the code that we've written so far. And right now, all we put in it was just the, the stuff to set up the GUI. Uh, we have the make drawing tab. Uh, this says it returns unit. So I should actually return a tab because that's what it does. Uh, and it should probably keep track of a list of drawings. Now, turns out this list isn't just of drawings, but it's of tuples for drawings and the tree view. Because when you edit things, that we're going to have to have the ability to get hold of, of the tree view as well. Um, it's probably also nice to have a, uh, a function in here that's just going to be a helper for a lot of the other things that we're going to do. That's, it's called labeled text field. And what this does is it kind of puts together a little border pane for us that has a text field as well as a label for that text field. And the, we, you know, we put some, the label, we pass in the label value, we pass in the initial value for the text field, and then we pass in a function that is supposed to be called anytime the text field changes. And you'll see why we want this because it turns out this is something that happens quite a bit and it takes several lines of code. So it's nice to put all of that functionality in one place where it can be called from different parts of, of the GUI. The more interesting part of design is these the different classes that we have. So we have a drawing. Our, we're going to be able to produce multiple different drawings. And the drawings have inside of them various drawables. Now, we're going to wind up creating a lot of different subtypes of drawables. I started off here with just three of them. So we have something that represents a rectangle, something that represents text that we can put in there, and something that is a transform. Okay, so this has the ability to move. So it has, has two main abilities. One is it has children. Okay, so it has multiple drawables underneath of it. So the transform could have some re a rectangle and a text underneath it. And then it has the ability to apply what's called an affine transform to move or rotate or whatever the stuff inside of it around. Okay, and so this is just having this gives us at least a reasonably um, effective scene graph that we can play with. The drawable itself keeps track of the drawing that it is part of and it has the ability to draw itself to a graphics context which we'll see that we can get from a canvas. It also has the ability to provide us a properties panel with the the node here. Uh, so remember at the top of the inheritance hierarchy for Scala FX is this node. We make property panel give us back a node so it can basically give us anything that is allowed to go into a Scala FX scene graph and we can put it inside of that scroll pane that we that we built when we were setting things up. Um, the drawing itself just keeps track of one element of this. It's the the root of our drawing which I have listed here as a drawable. Uh, we might actually find the root will probably always be a draw transform so we, we might decide to make that specifically be a draw transform. Uh, here I have it keeping track of the graphics context that it is drawing to and then it has a draw method as well as a uh, something that puts together the tree and so it returns a tree item which is used inside of that tree view that we put inside of our GUI. So a drawing can give you back the tree that is supposed to be displayed for it. Okay, so that kind of lays out the idea of the design. We could go through in Eclipse and start creating a few of these classes. We're not actually going to put all of the contents in them yet because that's that's it part of the actual implementation and that's going to take a little bit longer. But we can go ahead and we can start making some classes. So we want to have our drawing. We want to have our drawable. And I'm actually going to make the drawable a trait. 
it's kind of like shape in the sense that it's it's very abstract. I don't necessarily know uh, what's going to go, in, you know, what most of the things inside of it are going to do. So for now, I'll just go ahead and make it uh, a trait instead. And then we're going to make some classes for our draw rectangle. I could just call it rectangle, but as we've already seen, there are multiple things called rectangle, including some things we've already written. So by making it called draw rectangle, I disambiguate that, and it's going to extend drawable. I'll go ahead and copy that text because we're going to be doing that for the others as well, the next two things. We'll make another class for our draw text, which is also going to extend drawable. And the last thing is our draw transform. Okay, so this sets out the structure in our code. Uh, we don't have anything in these yet. We'll come back and we'll add them and we'll start basically building up our implementation of the full drawing program over a number of different videos.